Lily Tang Williams. She was born in China. She moved here at 24 years old, and she's talking to us for a couple minutes about how CRT, critical race theory, is directly tied to Marxism and communism. Let's go to Williams. Are you there? I am. Thank you for having me tonight. Not a problem. Not a problem. So you just gave a talk. Tell us critical theory. Critical theory tied to critical race theory. How is it directly tied to communism? Well, it is a communism, Marxism. They wanted to divide people into oppressor versus oppressed. And that's the only way they can get people to fight against each other to achieve their agenda. The tactic is exactly the same as Mao used to divide the Chinese into two big giant groups, actually total 10 classes, because um, you know, when five red and five black classes fight each other, then they win. So he become godlike leader and enslaved everybody. So that's what you see going on here with CRT, because many people will say CRT has nothing to do with that. You're saying the divide, the division of the people, of the community, um, is what makes it tied to, China, uh, to communism. Well, if you um, read the Communist Manifesto, Marxism is about dividing people into oppressor and versus oppressed. So there are two giant groups, but the Mao did even further. It's uh, five black classes under the oppressor group and the five red classes under the oppressed group. And 20 million people died during his Cultural Revolution um, by going through the similar tactics we have today. You go to struggle sessions, you apologize for being black classes, you apologize for your ancestors, and uh, you denounce your families and turn children against family and parents and grandparents and uh, change their um, Chinese last names. It's all similar struggle sessions to divide people. If people all live happily together as United Americans, how do they communists, Marxists, to achieve their agenda? So I'm warning as a Chinese immigrant who survived the Mao's Cultural Revolution and come to America for freedom, for American dream, I, I want to warn people, don't let this happen here. Because 1.4 billion Chinese today are still not free people. Why do we want to take Marxist tactics to divide our citizens? America is not a racist country. I love this country. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing to tell people, don't let this country become like communist China. My sister, thank you so much for thank joining us. So where are you going next? You're speaking around the country. Where, where will you be going next? I am going to um, Dawsonville to visit Dawsonville. Then I'm going to Pennsylvania and go back to my home in New Hampshire. We are fighting critical race theory in New Hampshire too. I, I On my watch, I'm not going to let this country to become like China. So I will have to be activated. People have to wake up. We cannot just let the Marxists take over. My sister, thank you so much. Thank you, Shawnee Zapp and Darth, for getting this interview for thank us. You. Thank you, really brothers. Williams, we appreciate you. God bless you, sir. Have a great God bless you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Have a good night. You too.